good morning dear students welcome in social science class dear students in previous videos we have discussed about our legislatures in which bicameral and unicameral we have discussed about legislative assembly and legislative council we were uh, discussing in that and then after we have discussed about governor and its role then council of ministers and about little information that is chief minister what is the role of chief minister and council of ministers in a state so our next topic is union territories after that state we are having union territories what is the role of union territories and what exactly union territories so union territories are federal territories federal means where the power is divided by the union government among the other small administrators or in administrative area which is governed by the central government of india or we can say that the areas directly administered by the union government are called union territories we are having number of union territories and in numbers we can say that earlier we were having seven union territories but now we are having nine union territories so before we go for uh, territories we should know something about the uh, difference between state and union territories so dear students states are explained as the administrative unit that has the right to frame its laws and has a separate government they are having a separate administrative unit as well as a separate government who are framing the rules and regulations from the uh, for the state where they have legislative assembly where they have elected government which we are electing and where they have chief ministers council of ministers as well as a governor for the administration who is ruling the state but on the other hand union territories we can say that it is a small administrative unit that is ruled by the union government why they are known as union territories and why they are controlled by the union government because these are very small units and they are very economically unbalanced financially weak as well as administratively and politically unstable so they are not able to uh, control or to run a huge area of any uh, territory and they cannot survive as a separate administrator or administrative units that's why they need a uh, complete help from the other higher authorities and totally depend on union government by which they can control by the union territories we have andaman and nicobar islands union territory these were the first union territories which was formed in india then we have lakshadweep puducherry puducherry also having a separate legislative assembly and chief minister we can say that a little a big unit we can say that dadaranagar haveli daman and diu chandigarh and delhi delhi also having a large uh, concentration of populations and it is also having a legislative assembly and also controlled by a chief minister uh, or we can say that it is a uh, capital state also of the india that's why it is uh, considered as a separate territory as well such areas are small in size and population specifically these uts with the exception of delhi the capital of india it is now called national capital territory of delhi that is nct delhi it enjoys a special status unlike other union territories where the administration is under a lieutenant governor lieutenant governors are directly 
answerable to the union government or a chief commissioner we can say that only delhi has an elected assembly as a council of ministers headed by the chief minister as well as a lieutenant governor they are also having lieutenant governors and they are also having chief ministers but in unity union territories somewhere we have lieutenant governors and somewhere we have chief commissioners chief commissioners like we have retired judges and is officers so is officer they have little bit power and lieutenant governors they are controlled by the union territory although they are totally controlled by union government but still they have some powers the president may appoint do you know the president may appoint the governor of a state as the administrator of an adjoining union territory yes the governor is the higher authority uh, we can say that in the state and he or she is appointed by the president of india dear yes, students the next union territories here we have discussed about the seven union territories the next union territories recently have joined uh, the number 7 that is jnk and ladakh the both these two union territories have joined last year on 6 august 2019 under article 370 where their separate administration has been cancelled by the government of india otherwise they were having separate uh, administration dear students here we have the locations of union territories see the first andaman and nicobar islands the southern tip we can say that of india and having capital port blair different languages were used here are used here bengali hindi tamil telugu malayalam next we have delhi here we have the location delhi regional languages hindi punjabi urdu bengali and it is the capital city of india we can say that then we have pondicherry capital puducherry regional languages tamil telugu malayalam and this is a location then next we have chandigarh chandigarh capital chandigarh punjabi and hindi are most commonly languages here chandigarh is a union territory over here next we have dadar and nagar haveli capital we can say that silvasa regional languages gujarati hindi konkani marathi bilari these are the specific languages used in this union territory then lakshadweep kavrati the southern tip we can say that the western part of india the western ghats we can say that the coastal regions languages malayalam is used commonly here next daman and diu here the corner of or the bottom of gujarat we can say that capital daman different languages gujarati hindi and marathi is used now the recently joined union territories the proposed new map of jammu and kashmir the division of here jammu and kashmir ladakh union territory with without assembly and union territory with assembly because jammu and kashmir earlier also having separate government constituent assembly of jammu and kashmir will now be renamed as the legislative assembly on the other hand the government of india on august 5 removed article 370 of the indian constitution by way of a presidential order so it was totally controlled under the union government dear students remember that we have nine union territories delhi jammu and kashmir and puducherry have their elected members and the chief ministers as they are granted with a partial statehood by the amendment of the constitution that's why they are having a separate administration and separate power so students this was all about today's topic that union territories
next we can cover in next video the federalism or federal power of the government thank you good day and stay safe